Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Jurassic World Dominion video. I hope you've all been enjoying the content lately here on the channel as we slowly make our way to 200,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Covering Jurassic content can be heaps of fun, however, it can also be rather challenging during a year like 2023 that's been wasted away by Universal. But I hope you've all been enjoying the content here on the channel anyways. Today, we have a rather interesting one. We're putting the Indoraptor and Jurassic World Dominion together. Now I know I did something like this on the channel already, but that was to explain what exactly happened to the Indoraptor's body at the end of Fallen Kingdom. Whereas today, we're discussing how the Indoraptor had an importance on Jurassic World Dominion. So when you're ready, sit back, get some snacks, and relax, as it's time to learn about how the Indoraptor was important for Jurassic World Dominion. The Indoraptor, one of four hybrid dinosaurs that were created into canon. The fourth one in the timeline, but the second one we see on screen. Arguably one of the strongest of them all depending on who you ask. The hybrid dinosaur consisted mainly of a split between the Velociraptor and the Indominus Rex DNA, making it a hybrid of a hybrid. Yeah, a very weird yet cool and interesting concept. This creature only appeared in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom during 2018 causing havoc within the Lockwood Manor and almost killing Claire, Maisie and Owen. Eventually, he was killed off and his body was presumably taken away by the US government to study, as we discussed in a recent video of mine. But what exactly happened to the world after this? How does this dead corpse play into effect for Jurassic World Dominion? Well, from what we can tell, the Indoraptor was not reported to the public as it was not covered on a now this news segment at the start of the movie meaning that the average person in this world doesn't even know the existence of the Indoraptor. However, as I'm sure plenty of you are aware after watching the movie, the Indoraptor was mentioned in Dominion when Sona Santos described the Atrociraptor's training technique, which proves that there are in fact a select small amount of people who are aware of its existence within this universe. But, as we can tell by the shady type of person Sona Santos was, it's evident that these are the type of people who are not supposed to know this information and have clearly obtained it from some kind of leak or source of theirs within the government. Someone who's dodgy is clearly spreading this information around the wrong type of people. So how does this affect the movie and the universe? Well, we already saw how the Indoraptor played effect for the Atrociraptors that we see in Jurassic World Dominion. Ghost, Panthera, Red and Tiger were four Atrociraptors that were trained in a similar way that the Indoraptor was, but more improved. This does not mean that every Atrociraptor in the world is the same as these four. Before being shipped over to Saudi Arabia, they must have been specifically requested to be trained animals in the way of the Indoraptor. Now, in order to do this, the secrets and the specifics of the hybrid dinosaur must have been studied heavily and then taught in order for this dinosaur training to take place and then be sold onto places like Riyadh. Meaning that a whole new black market operation could be in play here and that could be dinosaur training. Whilst the dinosaur dealing and smuggling is still clearly the biggest and most prominent issue in the black market, this further proves that a lot more is happening that people just don't know about. With dinosaur training now available and the Atrociraptors showing how persistent and well trained they actually are in Jurassic World Dominion, then this could open a whole new world of possibilities. Whilst the Atrociraptors didn't cause the most havoc in Malta since they were focused on Owen and Claire, who's to say that something more of a super predator like Allosaurus, Tyrannosaurus or even a Spinosaurus wouldn't be much worse if trained in the wrong hands. So yeah. That's enough to show that the Indoraptor's mere existence may have changed the world of Jurassic forever. So, with the secrets of the Indoraptor being leaked out worldwide to the wrong crowd, it's evident that this era of hybrid dinosaurs won't be over quite yet. I've covered this in another video of mine, but personally for me, I wouldn't mind seeing hybrids return one day should it be done right and not over excessively. I wouldn't even be surprised if some kind of DNA from the Indoraptor was stolen or kept by someone who's replicating it for their own good and then trying to sell it off so that practically anyone can have this power. And we see this actually happen. At the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, DNA was shipped across the world non-stop and even to Biosyn. In Jurassic World Dominion, 
This was shown that anyone and everyone has access to this power as new species were made and random species started to pop up across the globe, far away from the California breakout. So, should the same thing have happened here with the Indoraptor's DNA, then it's ever so likely that this could be the case and that the Indoraptors or the other hybrid dinosaurs could start popping up on this new world of Jurassic. Granted, I am sure that the writers of the future movies may have the idea to not write this into canon and keep it more boots on the ground. However, the potential is still there as a possibility. While I can only think of two major reasons off the top of my head for how the Indoraptor affected Jurassic World Dominion and beyond, there's still most likely many more things that could occur thanks to the creation of the Indoraptor, but undoubtedly, having black market dinosaur training and access to the Indoraptor's DNA are the most vital and crucial things that have opened up in the Jurassic Cinematic Universe. Should there be any more ideas that open up, I am sure I'll cover them someday, so feel free to head on to the comments and let me know anything else you think might happen. But yeah, the Indoraptor is a crucial point within this timeline. I guess you could say it's a canon event in this world for all of you Spider-Verse viewers. It has to happen to then expand the future of this universe even more and leave almost endless possibilities open for the next chapter. The next chapter that we all hope will start really soon. Now, there's a new animated series on the way rumoured to release in August of 2024. We assume that this will take place between the years of 2018 and 2022, and probably most likely in the year of 2019, just after the events of Jurassic World Battle at Big Rock. So, we may even get more information about the Indoraptor and what exactly happened to its body and DNA within this series. Who knows, but hopefully, when the new movies start to arise, we'll start to see the consequences of the Indoraptor's creation. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, then please consider pressing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you're new around here and wish to stay up to date on all of the news, details and theories coming from the Jurassic franchise. We're also aiming for 200,000 subscribers as we edge closer every single day. Feel free to also share your thoughts in the comments, but most importantly, all I ask for from you guys today is to make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.